right? Welcome back. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back. So the last session, I was just trying to talk to us or oh, now. We need to come out. We need to understand. I wanted us to understand the purpose of us being here. Maybe just for for those who are joining now, because we're starting the next session. I would like some a few of you to just say a few words, summarize what they pick up. For those yeah, who would want to say something. Bran, uh, what was your take? Or anyone? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, I think I, I got uh, I got uh, where, where where you emphasize on the importance of unity, mm -hmm. uh, working together. Even uh, uh, gave an example of nations that we can we can stand alone as individuals. We can, we, it's important to uh, work together uh, to move forward. Uh, yeah excellent i think uh, that, uh, that part uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah that's the truth remember i was saying working having a wine having one mind a single mind is not unity uh, anyone else lumbuka hello uh, anyone else um Leonard, before we move to the next session, say something about the last session. What did you pick? Okay, morning, Rev. Morning, Leonard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So for me, what I got was uh, change is the only thing which is constant. And uh, since we are guests in this dispensation, there is need for us to, to start changing mm -hmm. so that we, we work for ourselves. Yes. Uh, if we want to get things done, we have to, to change, to change the course of what we are doing. That's the only way we'll get back to, to create our own civilization. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. Exactly. And we should not just, you know, these words must be like uh, our, our, our pledge, because this household, that's what we'll be, we need. That's our direction, to begin to do that. Body, soul, and spirit. Who else? Lumbuka? You want to say something before I proceed? Yeah, thank, thank you, Rev. Um, I think I, I what I appreciated the most about the first session. I don't know if I can be heard. Um, yes, I hope you my can hear you loud connectivity and is better today. Mm -hmm. Can anybody hear me? Yes, we can get your Lombok. Yeah, um, yeah. I think what I appreciated most is. Uh, when you were saying that um, we need integrity, we need integrity to be trusted. Um, integrity also goes with um, your word. Uh, your word is the only aspect you own at individual level. Yeah, mostly even when someone is trying to get the truth, they say it's your word against mine. Mm -hmm. So meaning we have to, our words have to carry integrity. And uh, I think you talked about, um, like what Dr. Vinkumbo was also echoed, the aspect of doing nothing. Though mostly you notice that in any sector or in any grouping of people, mostly the ones who complain are those doing nothing because the ones doing something are up to something. And I think you also admonish us to unite, uh, especially uh, from the level where we are at, like right now, this is a household, we're a family. Yes. If we could unite, probably support each other, and, and probably, you never know, maybe if someone has a business, they're selling something, or if someone has a skill, um, we could come together and you... You said in most... Uh, we come up with some, also add that even in our Asian brothers and sisters, I've seen how they they normally help each other. They, they could be residing in Zambia, let's say Indians, Pakistans, uh, Lebanese, etc., etc. They could be residing in Zambia, but they never want to see a brother or a sister suffer. They will look at what does this person have? What skill do they have? You know, for example, what does, you know, what's 
the, is this person a plumber? Like this, the example you gave, and maybe whoever is building will hire them to do their plumbing. That way they want to support their own. I think it's also something we see among Nigerians. The people will say even their crookedness, you find they're in a particular nation, maybe they're in the UK, they still try to, as much as they have this, um, uh, this people have this perception about them as always having shortcuts to things. But I think what we can learn from there is that they just never want to uh, watch the other, the fellow Nigerian, for example, suffering, even if they are not in their own home country. So I think it's something we can learn. And, and, and I think for me, that's what I mostly appreciated in the first session. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah, you know, like, uh, yeah, very true, Lumbuga, thanks. In every, uh, yeah, incidentally, you mentioned the Asians and the, the different racing groups. That's how people have managed to rise up. You know, a, a few years ago, China was nothing. But when they, they united and stopped complaining, even Indians, I've, uh, I've had, I know of some Indians, they will tell me that, you know, Fridays, you think we are just having a party at a friend or at a relative's house. Their cars, their children are playing, they, you know, outside, the women are cooking and talking to each other. While men are, men are actually inside the house. And they have got elders, like for example, in Lusaka, Indians have got elders who they go to listen to every Friday or every Saturday. They will sit and discuss, we need to do for ourselves. We need to do industry, create wealth out of the dust. And what I'm talking about is not Mwape doing alone. Those you can do at your own micro level. But there, there, there is another level, our level, where if we're going to be a nation teaching other people, we are going to do it at our level, where you know that God has sent Reverend Sofa as a man of God in our midst, as the son of man, and understands these things. Then together with all of you, we begin to partner to create something which is beyond all of us. We don't own it. It's a nation. No one owns the United States of America. No one owns um, yeah, anything. I showed you that the three nations have made a pact, a defense pact, because they want that America is powerful. So UK and the Australia also wants to align themselves that whatever happens, they are safe, not just in war, but even in food. Even in technology, it's a defense pact. They help and they, they bring resources together. Like, for example, I, I told you Australia doesn't have powerful submarines. So UK and the USA has pledged to teach them, to bring them up to speed so that they have those things. So those are things what we're trying to say that we, because we are living in Adam's world, we are guests. Why do I say we are guests? You can have a PhD. You are, you are employed by Adam. One day is going to go. That job is going to go. What are you going to do? But we want in your old age, Lumbuka, we take care of you. Vin, uh, Dr. Vinkumbo, in, you, you, are, you are old. You are living in one of, the, of, of our homes we built. We have got uh, real estates probably. We just say you live there until you die because we have created this little nation which runs itself. So that's what I was trying to say in the in the other session. Who else wants to say something? Abusa Mwanza, brother Mwanza, who is on techno POP? I thought it was brother Mwanza. Who is using the techno phone? Mwape, you can summarize the bits so that. So that we move also. Um, I see we lost the Ezra again. Mwape? Did we lose Mwape? Uh, no, I'll go. no, no, no. I'll comment at the end. Okay. Yeah, so we move on. So that's what uh, we're trying to say. I was saying, like Dr. Lulumbuka, as, um, Dr. Nkumbo has resonated that the only people complaining are those doing nothing. So we have to pull our resources together to move on. 
And of course, like we are saying, that your word is the only thing you have, that's yours. So if your word is, is worth nothing, you are worth, if your word is worth nothing, then you are worth nothing yourself. If you come every time here and just give us your word, I'm with you guys, but your actions are not here. So that is what it is. We are supposed to do that. Because all these teachings was to, was, was to be put in our minds so that we become sons of men. This is also parting, part of eating the book. Get the book and eat it. We are eating, getting the book and eating it. Like I was saying, I will, I will say these words again. I see the value of unity because that's the beginning of freedom. Our freedom. So we need to educate one another, educate our children. We, we need to create our, our own jobs. So, and the first thing we need to do is getting along with one another. That's what we're saying in the last session. Because the truth is the truth. And, and you know, when you, every one of us, when the truth is in our faces, you know, nature shows us that we need to be gardeners. We need to do industry, create wealth out of dust, dust, industry, dust. So when you, when you, when you don't adhere to the truth, you are calling the truth a liar. And when you call the truth a liar, that's blasphemy. Remember, the Bible says the only blasphemy is against the Holy Ghost, which is the truth. You cannot, me, you can insult me as a man of God or whatever. It's not blasphemy, but if you call the truth a lie, that's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. No? That's why you need to begin to understand also, even in the midst of truth, if we say freedom of speech, I told you before, the freedom of speech should be the freedom to speak the truth. When we say in our country, the freedom of, of, of speech is not what we are seeing now on Facebook, people insulting one another. You know, disrespecting one another. No, we are free. Freedom of speech. I can say what I want. No. Freedom of speech means freedom to speak the truth. And that's what we are propagating on this platform. And that's why I speak nothing but the truth on this platform. Because if you have no truth in you, you can believe something. But, and it's not good for you. Some of you have believed you, you need to wake and become a CEO in a company. For, for the moment, it will be good, but it's not good for you in the wrong time, in the wrong land. We need to create a macro nation of our own, a small place where when we can demonstrate the truth we are getting about the world. We cannot tell people that the world needs to be rude or built in such a way when, when we have never built anything ourselves. We begin by building something small. We buy a big land, start growing vegetables, crops, market gardening. You know? berries, whatever, you see. We need to start doing that because we know the families have sinned. I'm reminded of, a, of, of that statement in the Bible, the family tree. The family tree, I mean, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's the family tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's a dispensation of people who are in that... In, uh, in that state, the family tree of knowledge of good and evil. And you know, if you don't adhere to my words, I can give you these words for free. If you don't believe the truth, and this is what the, the truth says, even Adam had his own nation. I mean, talk about Abraham. Abraham was a small nation of his own. Even when Lot was captured by, by those five kings, Ad, Abraham went with his nation and got him because they were they were an organized, organized nation. They had armory, they had everything, they had cattle, they had everything. See? But the thing is that you should know that the devil, divider of illusion in this world, what it does is that it traps you with your appetites. I'll make you a CEO. I'll make you a, a nice house with a swimming pool. It traps you with your appetite. You will get a big car. No, but those things, he, one day he, he is going to go, and then what? So that's what he does. He traps you with your appetite. And you know the wages of sin is death. You will die in your mind. 
but we should be the first man to begin to understand the understanding, the knowledge which is going to lead us into the 7,000 year period. Like I always say again, I'll say it again because this is very serious what I'm trying to talk about. Either accept my teaching or you leave it alone. But when you do these things, what I'm showing you, God is going to raise you up at the last day. The Bible says, whoever adheres to my words, I'll raise him up at the last day. And we know the last day is the seventh day, the day when you are enlightened. My business is to, to be a watchman over you. And you need to die to your old ways, to your Adamic nature. And remember again, these words, I'm, I'm trying to make you understand. I'm talking, today is like I'm just trying to talk to you again. Then trying to open up your mind. When we say you die to your own nature, to die is to change or submit. So like we are showing you today that we need to do this in the long term. But of course, if you want us to talk further, we can have, you, you can call me or we can have time where we all talk and say, Rev, uh, Pastor, or, or Rev, we need to do this thing. How are we going to proceed? So it would, we begin slowly, slowly. So to die is to change, to submit. And that's the duty of a civilized man. A duty of a civilized man is to civilize other people. So Mwape, how are we going to civilize the world if we are failed to, to civilize ourselves? You see? So this word I'm talking to you must become flesh. And the word was made flesh when you eat the book. And the book is the truth, is the word. You know, another, you, you know, the schemes of a white man, of Adam. What he does and what he has done to us is that he has put us in a situation where we think we cannot do it without him. He will tell you that you cannot do it without him. Even now, just lose your job now. You will start, you will go into depression because you can't do it without him. But we need to bring, to, to remove that. That is blasphemy because we know the truth and we live in the earth. Everything is possible. We, we can start by getting, for I'm giving you simple ex examples. You say, no, Rev, it's difficult. Three acres land, you start growing market gardening. You grow strawberries. Strawberries, if you go in ShopRite, one small box of strawberries, there are just about six of them, is 49 kwacha. You see, you, you grow other things, market gardening. And that becomes your industry. So that's what he does. He makes you think you cannot do anything without him. But we shouldn't be, I don't want to be a man or also a person who says a lot and does nothing. I don't want to be preaching for 20 years on, on, on this platform. In my own little way, I can show you. I'm not, I'm not begging for him, but I, I'm inviting people to think the way God has showed me to think. In my own way with my family, we have started. I live, we are in this place called Chalala. I've got, we are doing three bedroom flats in one area. Modern flats. Obviously, they will fetch not less than 7,000. Three or already, that's 21,000. On a house level. You see? And if that is done, and of course, you know, I go to work because none of you has ever fulfilled God's law of saying, we'll give him tithe, we'll give him an offering. And all of you come to, 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 to this household every Sunday breaking God's law because no one went to the house of God empty-handed and you do that every day, you see? But we shouldn't say, we shouldn't say a lot and do nothing. So for, for me, that level is done. Even if I stopped work, I am going to eat, you see? But that's not what I'm saying that everyone must do that. We are talking about changing the world. We need to go further and do that. When we send our, our people to, to, to school, I'm giving examples of people I can see on Zoom. Dr. Vinkumbo goes and works for 
five years, she's experienced. She comes back, we create our own specialized hospital. She's the director of that hospital. It re recruits young doctors, you see. Nurses, they come back, we create nursing homes. Farmers come with a PhD in soil science. We start doing market gardening. So we need to, to wake up. Let's not do things like the people of the world. Let's follow the truth. We need to create our own jobs, not waiting for a white man, not waiting for Adam, not waiting for the devil. When we build it, I'm telling you people, when we build it, people will come with more money to build something now which is going to affect nations. That's our business. Remember, we are not here just to satisfy my family with my, my houses, four houses. Remember, I'm a son of man. The son of man is the Lord of the Sabbath. I need to, to push you to the period of Sabbath. We need, as a group, to, to push the world to the period of Sabbath. That's why I'm saying, when we build it, people will come. And there are people who want to put their money where it's going to count. So we need to create our own jobs, not waiting for Adam. We need to build it because when we build it, people will come. But you need money to build a nation. Remember, even Adam, God says, I've made you a nation. Even when Father said, I've made you a God. Remember when God sent, uh, sorry, not Adam, Moses to Pharaoh. God says, Moses, see that I've made you a God to Pharaoh. G-O-D, God means grantor of dominion. That's why we are called gods. I'm called God. The Bible says, it was said you are gods. And not because of my flesh, because of I'm reverend so far, no. It says, they were called gods unto whom the truth came. So Moses was a grantor of dominion. Dominion is knowledge to Pharaoh. Remember, Moses made sure that the nation of Egypt did not suffer for seven years of famine. He showed them how to do gardening, grow their own wheat, put it in the silos, save it for seven years, no one suffered. That's what we're talking about. And remember, when Moses did that to Pharaoh, Pharaoh says, Pharaoh's response was, I have never seen a man filled with the Holy Ghost than Joseph. Sorry, now I've gone to Joseph. Anyway, the men of God are doing these things, all of them. I'm to, I, I know you, you get the point. Moses was made a God to Pharaoh. Then also Joseph was made a God to Pharaoh. Joseph removed famine from Egypt for seven, seven years. Sorry for I mixed them up. But we are, we are all the, the same. We are all one. When you eat the book, you become all of them. That's why we're called son of man. These are men. So we need to do that. But you need money to build a nation. I, was, I went all that way because um, um, Moses, Pharaoh, those were all nations. So, and you know, the, the good part is, whether you like it or not, you guys who have been meeting here for years, we are already a family. We just don't know it. Because of maybe the way we have been wired before. But it's good we are here so that we remind one another, you have the son of man to teach you these things. We are already a family. We just don't know it. But let's behave like one. You learn from successful people, then you move on. You begin to understand these things. You know, I don't know why we have gone this way today. I know it's for a reason, because maybe I needed to talk about these things. I don't know if there are any questions so that I move now to the word a bit. I've, I think I've made my point. Any questions? Do we have questions? Questions? Dr. Vinkumbo, do you have a question? Lumbuka, Leonard, Brian, Mwape? 
I don't know who, who is using the techno. From my end, uh, uh, so far, I, I, I don't have any questions. It's, uh, it's clear. Okay, but it, it makes sense, right? Yeah, it's making a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm. But as long as we just listen to it and do nothing, it doesn't count. So any other question or addition before I move on? Moape, do you want to, to summarize this a bit? I, I move on. Or you want to mix it, mix everything at the end? I don't know. Lumbuka, anything? Uh, it's, it's just... Did we lose Mwape? No, no, no. So it's um, basically my comment is relating to the aspect of having your own mind and that is not unity. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's a very powerful point in a sense that um, oftentimes uh, I think uh, even when we're making certain choices, oftentimes we just, we just think about ourselves and what do I want for myself? What car do I want to drive? What clothes, whatever. It's all up to like, we're trying to make decisions based on ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that we get to think about others and include others in our space when we are thinking about such. But I think uh, based, on the, based on the explanation that you've given to us today to say, everything should be about unity because in a sense that you make a personal a decision just based on you alone, then if you were to die, you die, everything dies with you. Mm -hmm. But if you are in a unity, even if you were to die, your ideas or whatever you had contributed will still be remembered, even by the people who are going to come after you. So I think it's very, very important that uh, I think uh, we think of inclusiveness and not just we alone ourselves whenever we're making any decision. And uh, another aspect I think that I just really appreciated is the fact that you mentioned that do not fear what someone will do to you. Fear what God will do to you. Mm -hmm. Because in a sense that if you do something in fear of somebody to say, oh, oh okay, how will this person look at me? Or what's the image they're going to have about me? You do something, you make a decision and basically you're going to please the, uh, the people you're scared of. Uh, but what the truth will do is the truth, if you try to make a decision in, in, in a sense of disobeying the truth, then definitely you're going to face the wrath the truth has um, because there's every consequence to every every action that is that is made so in a sense that you, you disobey the truth because you are trying to please some people then definitely the consequences you just have to accept the consequences and uh so in that sense i think thinking in broad in in broader perspectives and not to be in fearful of what other people will do but to be fearful of what the truth will do if we disobey the truth and uh, in a sense that we disobey the truth, then that is regarded as blasphemy because you know what to do and yet you go contrary. Did we lose Moape? Moape, you have uh, muted yourself. Uh, I, I, were you getting me? I, I think... Um, at some point, you muted yourself. Just Hello? we were getting you until just a few minutes, a, a few seconds. You were yeah, you muted yourself a bit. But we we got what you are saying. You are okay. talking about uh, when you die. Okay. Yeah, people. Might, yeah, you know, uh, and that point resonates with the scriptures because when you die as Mwate, you need to to resurrect and be caught up in the cloud. Remember. The cloud is the witnesses which are surrounding us. When, when you are dead, people must leave remembering you. 
So those who die, having fulfilled the truth, like you are saying, you left something on earth. It means you resurrected and you are caught up in the cloud. And the clouds have uh, moisture and moisture is water and water is the word. And Paul says in the book of uh, Hebrews 12, I guess, I think, he says, we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. You will be witnessing to the works you did. You will live to us in your works. You live in us in your works. I don't know if you finished, but you can continue. Yes, but we had you on that, uh, up to that level. Was that all, Mape? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Very yes. So, um, the other aspect was relating to the, the, the same truth to say, if you have no truth in you, then you can never stand on anything. Because even the aspect of fear in people, it will only come in, you'll only be fearful of others because you have no truth in you. You have nothing to stand by. But if you have the truth in you, no matter what will happen, or no matter what people will say, you definitely gonna be, you, you definitely going to stand on what the truth requires of you. But if you do not have any truth in you, then definitely wherever the wind blows, you go. If people say something, you go in that direction. You're just basically a piece of paper that is being blown about. So thank you so much. I submit. You're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, so that is, it is what it is. This is what I'm trying to say. And I hope we are not just, you know, like I said, if you just know without action, then there's a problem. You are headed for death. Any other question before we move on? I know we have less minutes. Even if I moved on, I'll just talk for a few minutes, but this could be the opportunity for people to ask questions or contribute or just encourage us on the few words I've, I've spoken today. You are free. That's why sometimes I, I mention names. I just want you to know that you are free. Dr. Vinkumbo, do you want to add some something on what you said or, or it's fine? Rumbuka, do you want to add anything? Dr. Vungumbo? Leonard? Uh, no, it's fine for now. Okay. Leonard? Uh, I think it's right. fine for now, Rev. Leonard? Uh, it's fine. Uh, nothing to add from me. Okay. Yeah. So th that is that. We need to learn from successful people. And you know, like I said, Adam was given dominion on earth and he has given us a lot of things to work from. What we need to do is, well, today, the word which should be resonating in your mind is industry, like I was saying. And it has, it needs the word dust, creating livelihood from the dust. The dust looks dust and, and promising. One day I'm going to show you, like I said, I'll teach about how we left the earth. How did we leave the earth? Because we have, we have stopped living from the earth, understanding that the earth can feed us. We, have, we are behaving like a white man. Remember, a white man, when he came to, to colonize us, he came and, and got the farming lands from the poor people and sometimes killed them, only to create plastic cities, artificial cities on top of the ground. And those plastic cities, New York, you know, those big cities, began to do industry, car making, all these industries which we have seen, food industry, junk food industries, you know, uh, hamburger, fried chicken, you know, they, have, they, they want, you know, food, like I said before, food which adds um, sweetness to your palate. And you know, all these foods, all these things which come from the plastic industry is killing you. Hamburg, hamburgers will kill you health, you, you know? Fried chicken, you, you, you remove a farming block, you create a place where you are, you are making wine and alcohol, you know, that destroys your heart. You are creating death to yourself. So we're trying to 
to make the world answer. Even when we say as a group, we're going to do farming, it will be purely organic. We'll try and learn the organic way. We will try and learn a way of using the truth to do anything. Anything we will do is not something which destroys man. That's why we can't even create an industry like uh, because there's money, let's go into beer. No. Not that God is a person who come and whip us. Even your, the Bible says that the nature itself teach you. How are you going to, to sell cigarettes? You know that you are contributing in, the, in killing people. But we are a group of people who are trying to, to usher people into, into the, the 7,000 year period. Like Mwape was saying that it's not just doing things for yourself. I'm trying to show you how, what, what burden I have. Even when I say at our, at our micro level, we, can, we should build industry, we should build a, a nation. But for me, my vision is beyond, it's universal. But I need to, to build from, from the beginning, from the lower end. But that, otherwise, it's a universal effect. But the Bible says, uh, arise, shine. Is it, uh, let's read that Isaiah 66, I think. This is what God um, is. We have less than three minutes. Okay. Isaiah 66. Let me just read that scripture. Isaiah 66. Is it Isaiah 60? Yes. Arise, shine. It doesn't say arise and shine. No. When you, when you arise in the truth, you definitely shine. For thy light is come. Light, you know, knowledge. If this is talking to us, we have the truth. The only thing you need to do, folks, is to arise. That's what I'm calling you to arise. Let's talk about these things in detail, what I was talking about today. Arise, shine. For, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. you. You see? For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. I've shown you, the white man's world is plastic. It's just giving you death. It's covered in darkness. But when we build, I don't want to go further. I know time is gone, but I can explain. When we build, we are going to have to create a light to which everyone in this world will run to. Remember, when there's light, people run to the light. Just like the flies. When you, when you have light in your house and outside is dark, the flies always run to the light. They are not going to, to run to us because I speak so well or I talk, I break the truth so well. No. They want to come and see, just like the Queen of Sheba. Remember, even um, uh, uh, David created a nation. When the King of Sheba came, she was surprised at David's household, how people behaved, how the cities looked, how clean the cities were, how the cities were created, uh, you know, people friendly, always on friendly. So that's what I'm talking about. I know we were with less than one minute, I always want to hear people talk so that I don't to talk alone. So I'm giving you one minute. Anyone wants to say something, we can close. I know I, I can't go to other things. Time has gone. I have done it deliberately that we have one minute talk so that it's on point and you go back and think about it and let's begin to implement. Any questions? Or any, anyone, this is a time you, you can also try and speak and, and try and um, encourage one another or Try and say what you've been trying to say to your friends. So quickly, one minute, who wants to go? Lumbuka, Babal Sungu, Leonard, Brian, Mwape, Techno.